Now, I'm listening to you, ma'am, but I don't know you all that well, and I am the corporate HR director. So I have to tell you honestly that what I think is you're out of bounds. And the reason that I think you're out of bounds is because none of this that you're telling me about this little annoyance you're expressing to me is anything to do with your actual job within our store. You see, outside of our store is a public forum. It's a public place where people gather, where people embrace, where people walk, where people talk, where people stop to talk on their cell phone, where somebody might sit down and even work. Because we have these marvelous awnings, which most of the buildings that we are participating in don't always have. So what I have to say to you is that we're sort of fortunate. What I'm also hearing from you is that the individual in question is actually nowhere near the front door of our store, which means that they're sort of sitting in the side area, it sounds like, and I'll come by and take a look and look it over, the sidelines between stores, meaning they've removed themselves completely from any door opening. So they're not the typical, what you like to call, panhandler who is sitting outside a door. The city in which you are residing in, the city in which our company is in, does have city ordinance that protect people in impoverishment. And they do have homeless laws that say that they are welcome, and that diversity laws would say that you are discriminating if you call police on them. At the same time, at no time does any hourly employee or supervisory employee have the right to engage local law enforcement on behalf of our store. Your job, if those things occur, when you feel like police should be called, is to immediately call your upline supervisor. That usually is going to be a divisional manager who understands our procedures, our public policies, and the publicity that we want for our store. At the same time, there's an HR director who knows all about the laws of the local community because she was heavily involved in allowing certain people to be employed. What we're going to say to you is that we've heard a lot of complaints about you. What we understand is that you're often out of bounds. As the HR director, I'm just going to lay out to you straight. You can get upset all you want to, but we don't want to have a reputation that doesn't make us look great. What I know is that people regard that individual, and I know this because some of my friends do shop at that store. They've already sort of alerted me, but here's what I feel. Since they go there around there regularly, what they decided was this old fella is just living his life. He's not bothering anyone. He's not soliciting anyone, but he gets more solicitations than he'd like, and that's okay by us. At the same time, the more that I thoroughly investigate what you've told me, what I'm sensing is that someone in your responsibility set, someone in your team has improperly put their hands on that man's property. My guess is that none of your people have actually had a thorough conversation with anyone, but I do have a gal that did talk to him briefly. What he was curious about was a particular pet or possible pet that some people keep because they end up on their lawns, and openly she was not that kind of vet. But she gave him some information, she directed him, and what she said to me was, this is just an old guy with a curious question, and he didn't ask anything else. So when I'm talking to you, and what I'm saying to you is get out of it. Stop interfering with that man's life, stop worrying about that man's life, stop worrying more about what you're doing in my store. You see, what I'm hearing is that you have gone on a little break during the payment of your salary. What I'm also hearing is that you're being soliciting of other employees and other shops in behalf of my company because you are still in your uniform when you do that. You are still technically on the job even though you're on a break because it is your corporation that has given you that break. So let's be clear, any minute that you are on the job schedule, even if it's on a break, you are representing my company. You're representing our company, you're representing our executive leadership, and you are representing our marketing arm for our company. So I want you to think about what it looks like for someone who's matronly, like you, as it's been expressed to me by other people who have visited your store, and I'm hearing from some sideline employees who've gone around there to check things over, that openly that old fella is busy working on something that's bigger than most of the panhandlers handle. And my guess is that not only do the panhandlers hate him, because he probably doesn't have to do a lot like they do to make their living and earn their food, but that's because of how they go about things compared to what I'm sensing he does based on the photographs that are now provided to me by one of my friends. What I see is a gentleman saying, this is my life, don't fuck me over. And that's what I'm reading and translating as a man to a man. You being a girl, you may have a different perspective on this, but I don't know what your home life is like. I don't know what your family life is like. I have no idea if you've ever been homeless or struggled to get a job in life. But here's what I know. If you've got an executive, a displaced executive, who's struggling to get a job, He's not about to walk into one of these $10 an hour jobs and say, employ me. 
It has nothing to do with pride. It has everything to do with whether or not his skill sets will be satisfied and he can afford then to live outside of the outside and in the indoor world again. What I'm under also understanding from the pictures of the signs is that you're not paying attention to the lines at all. What it says is he's been a victim of cybercrime, identity theft, and fraud, as well as vandalism, and my guess is also violence, based on what I've seen on the other pictures I've seen on the other things that he's carrying. So what I'm going to tell you is that we know quite a lot about this fellow. What I'm going to say to you is, get the fuck off it. I'm going to make it as impolite now as I can, because what I expect to do, and what I expect you to do when you're an employee in my store, is to fully function on your job. And if I find out what I think some of my friends and family feel, that your underling employees have been hacking this man's computer, interfering with his phone usage, or employing police officers to give them private information about him, I am going to literally make sure that you get sued.